Hello and welcome to Labour Lent. I am Sharon Ijasson. On this week's edition of the program, we'll be focusing on workers in the non-academic staff union of universities, several challenges they are faced with, and their demand for a 100% wage increase following the current realities that the country is faced with. We will be right back. As part of its efforts to assist in improving quality and standard of education in the country, Women in Petroleum and Natural Gas Senior Staff Association of Nigeria, Pengasen, with Lagos Zone, has presented reading materials among other items to primary school pupils in the states. The beneficiaries are no fewer than 200 pupils of Community Primary School, Odunla, under the Ikorodunluku Government Education Area of Lagos State. Other items, including cash, were also presented to best performing female and male academic staff and other non academic staff of the school. According to women in Pengasin, the Back to School Project 2022 is aimed at touching lives. And in Pengasin, one of our values is we believe in corporate social responsibility, giving back to society. It's our way of touching lives and restoring hope to people. What do I mean by restoring hope? It's an opportunity for us to talk to the children and to let them know that there is still hope for them in this country, that there are still people who think about them, and there are still people who are interested in their fulfilling their dreams. We are aware that the economy is not good, the inflation rate is going high, not only in Nigeria but globally, but we felt that coming to them, to give them the little we have, to also talk to them will make them to know that there is still hope for this country. And there the children are our hope. For all what they have brought today, they really meet the needs of the children. They really meet their needs. And I really applaud them for what they have done because they have done the great things for the children. And I pray that the Lord will reward them. I'm indeed very happy very appreciative of the women in Pengasan. They have done a great job. God will continue to enrich them. It's a laudable project. It's a good work because these children, they are future leaders. And they will never forget them. They will never forget all these materials that we see from them that will especially help the ones that are from less privileged homes. Members of the Non-Academic Staff Union of Educational and Associated Institutions, NASU, are asking the federal and state government to urgently look into the plight of Nigerian workers due to rising inflation in the country and high cost of living. In his welcome address at the National Executive Council NEC meeting of the union, the national president of NASU demanded for a cost of living adjustment in their salary. For means that we are demanding for 100% increase in the salaries of NASU members in all the sectors. Disruption in food supply chain, rise in import costs due to the currency depreciation and increase in the cost of uh, production. According to the International Monetary Fund, many countries are facing double-digit inflation and in this respect, fiscal policy needs to help monetary policy and work together to ensure price stability. It is absolutely critical for stable growth. The IMF said countries like Nigeria. Other labor leaders and officials of the international other labor leaders and officials of international labor organizations in attendance spoke about the need for decent work across the globe. We are at a critical point in time. We are a number of the progress we made collectively have been silently reversed. 
So much so that even the national minimum wage, which since 1981 have been part of the legacy of the struggle of the Nigerian Labor Congress, is being undermined. NASU played a very major role in the establishment of this great network. Uh, this is a network of non-education sector unions across the region. And I know very well the role that NASU played in establishing this great network. We just had our last meeting a few months back in Uganda, which was attended by many other unions in this same network. Our comrades, this network has now surpassed many other networks, and we are working around the clock to make sure we have some support so that at least we can lessen the burden which is already placed on NADU in support of this network. Some of the recommendations made by NASU to federal government to reduce incessant strike in the education sector include institutionalization of collective bargaining in the education and allied institutions sector, while government teams should always come to the collective bargaining table with fidelity. The union also wants government to always implement agreements it freely entered into with NASU and other unions. State governments that are yet to implement the national minimum wage and others who are owing workers were encouraged to pay because it's their legitimate right. There's no reality that we are facing because there is a lot of injustice. When you look at even the, the political class, the political elite, let's put it that way, look at their take home compared to what a poor civil servant is taking. And these are, these, these are people with higher educations than politics. You see someone with a NC because of political class is taking millions home, which 100% is being justified when we want to put it at a round table and talk about it that okay let's let's see what's hundred percent increase let's see how much it's going to be and let's see how much it's going to take each person so if the government wants to be real and they want to be they want to justify what we wanted I think it's something they just call the unit around table and let's see how they can put it into effect. I put it as selfishness, greed to some state governors. Not that the resources is not there, but to their own advantage, let me put it that way. To their own advantage, they spend the, 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 the government's money the way they wanted. If, if, like, look at Abia State now, like one of my colleagues was telling me that for the past almost 24 months, they have not been paid salary. How do you justify that? Does that mean the governor is not having any, any money? Does that mean he's not even taking the, the normal uh, uh, allocation from the federal? that you don't even pay staff for almost 24 months and yet they are going to the offices. So to me, I think uh, the governors are, are being unconsiderable, let me put it that way. Most of them, most of them, they are not just being fair to the civil servants generally. Going by the rate of inflation in the country, all the prices of goods are escalated. Judging with that, I want to believe that Union at all level should ask for 100% increase in wages and the salary. So I want to sincerely support the motion or anyone that has spoken before me to request the government to increase the salary of workers by 100%. The union's demand is 100% legitimate. When you consider and look at the current situation we are facing in the country, virtually almost everything we are living on in the country now is on the eyesight. For instance, from the state where I come from, a bag of rice now sells for 36,000 naira per bag. And when you look at the current minimum wage you are getting now, which is 30,000 naira, you now begin to wonder that with 30,000 naira, can you even feed a family of four? not to talk of an extended family. So for me, I think the demand of the union is legitimate and is even long overdue. We are all living in the same country and we know the reality that is on ground. So 
For them refusing to pay, I just want to believe it's an act of wickedness on their part. It's as simple as that. And we can only just appeal and encourage them to take a cue from states that have actually affected it.